Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I wanted to show you guys a little project that I that I've been working on. I got this i I got this idea from another YouTuber. Um, he goes by the name of uh, John Builds It. I'll put a link to his uh, YouTube page in my description below. But uh, just wanted to show you. Uh, basically, I followed the, everything to all the steps that he had in his video. But I did make just minor changes. Um, just want to go over everything that, that is used in this video. Um, so in this project, the legs here are made of uh, one and a half inch PVC pipe. And then the part that connects to the bottom of the rigid vacuum is a one and a half to two inch reducer. And then that, that's what connects into the, uh, into the bottom. The rigid vacuums come with these legs. Uh, basically, the, uh, all, all the attachments, will, all these attachments right here will plug into that, into the legs. So what we're doing is basically moving, putting the legs in there and then moving the attachments up to the top, which I like a lot better because I have problems bending over. And uh, picking them up from the top is so much better, so much easier for me. But I wanted to show you the top here. So I drilled out, I drilled out holes for all the attachments. These, these two are the wands. There's two wands that come with it. And then there's, um, I bought this attachment extra. Uh, this one here is to pick up from the um, concrete floor. I'll just go ahead and take these out so you can see them. And then this one is probably for the detail in your car. So I'll put these attachments over here so you guys can see. That way you guys can see all the holes that I had to that I had to uh, make. And then the, this here is the floor attachment. All right. So as you can see, there's three holes here, two here, and one here. And then one thing that I did add was a um, extension cord holder, um, just to keep the cord out of the way when it's not in use. The, uh, the dust stopper, the head here, you can buy at Home Depot, and then you just get a, uh, basically a Home Depot bucket, which this head fits on. And then the dust stopper comes with this hose, and it also comes with that elbow down there, but it does not come with a second elbow, so I have to, um, I had to kind of put this kind of piece this together myself so what I did was I bought a um, 90 degree uh, I think that's one and a half no it's two inch so it's two inch 90 degree elbow and then this is a, a small piece of two inch PVC pipe but in order to get it to fit over this piece I had to heat this up with a with a heat gun and then the, the PVC will will uh, flex when you heat it up. So that's one good thing about it. So once I heated it up, I was able to force it over this, over the lip of this hose. And then I was able to attach it to this elbow. Anyway, you can buy this elbow already made that will fit the bucket and the hose. I believe it's like $15, but this elbow is like three bucks. And then I already had a piece of this two inch PVC already in, in the shop. So uh, for me, it was just uh, $3 and then just heating this up to make it fit. So, and then the other part that I did was um, there's these bolts that come up through the top of this um, tape, this uh, plywood. And what I did was I countersunk them and then I filled it up with putty. So it's nice and flush now. 
And there's four, four, four bolts that hold on to the, uh, it holds on to these uh, caps. So there's one there. You can still see them a little bit, but it's not too bad. I just wanted it to be flush so that bolt wasn't sticking out. And then my bucket, um, I believe it was like 11 and 11 inches and a quarter for the diameter. So I went a little, I just went a little bit shorter. My bucket is really snug in there. I could just show you that real quick. Yeah, I have to pop it a little bit to get it to go up, but it's a, it's a tight fit which I like because it doesn't really move around that much. This is the top piece moving, but the bottom piece doesn't move. As you can see, the this piece is not moving at all. Um, it's pretty stable. Um, the other thing I had to do is I, I don't know if you can see these little pieces right here. I had to put these in there to kind of stabilize it a little bit better. But you can see that right there. I just took some PVC and glued it to the pipe. I didn't want to make any modifications to the vacuum since it has a lifetime warranty. And I, I would not recommend making any modifications. I've seen people on YouTube making, um, <clears throat> drilling holes into their, into, into the side of the, their vacuum. As soon as you do that, if you own a rigid, you have a lifetime warranty. As, as soon as you drill a hole into it, I'm pretty sure you, you're gonna be voiding the warranty on it. So I, I didn't make any modifications to this vacuum at all. Everything, everything right now I can remove and the vacuum is back to the way it came out of the box. So that's kind of what I wanted to do. I didn't wanna make any permanent changes to it. Um, um, the next video I'm gonna show is a little demo on how the dust dumper works. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Like I said, I'm going to put a link to uh, the guy that invented this. <clears throat> I'm not going to take credit for it because I got the idea from his YouTube page. All right, until next time, thanks for watching. Make sure you click like and subscribe. Thanks.